So now for the chicken coconut curry. So I cut my chicken in strips. I did two brass. I got the coconut milk and I got the margarine, the curry, the peanut butter, and the onion and the garlic. And I don't have ginger. Some people put ginger, but I'm not a big ginger lover unless they're in cookies. And then sugar. I only put a little sugar to sweeten it up. So I'll play with this stupid stove. I'll put it down to about eight. And I have to cook the, uh, cook the chicken first. So I'll put about that much, about that much margarine and get the chicken in there. So we got the margarine and the chicken. and the chicken. We're going to cook that up a little bit before we put the onion and the garlic in. The, I just like my chicken cooked a little bit, right? So, I got it on number eight. So, cook the chicken a little bit like that. And then, one half a cup of rice and one cup of coconut milk. But, I'm going to start that when that's almost because I'm going to let it simmer and after it's cooked a little bit and then and that's a 15 minute rice so I'll start that once this is simmering my rice. So I got one cup of the coconut milk and half a cup of rice and I put a little bit of a little bit of salt but we'll do that in a bit. First, I want to get this chicken on the go here. Come on. Get this chicken cooking. And then I got my baby pictures out. Um, I'll eat a little and then I'll show you some pictures. I got some of the kids, uh, a few of mine. I don't have much, but I do have a little. So we're cooking this chicken up a little bit before we put the spices and everything. Now, you can put a little bit of ginger if you want. Um, some people put broccoli, celery, um, green pepper. But like I said, I didn't make Walmart. Now, the curry that I use is a real... A real dark curry. There's all different curries, right? But I like that one. I do have, um, I do have a small spoon. I have another curry too over here, but it's dark. It's that tight. M-A-D-R-A-S. That's quite dark and smells nice and sweet. I might use that one. Actually, I think I'm going to use that one. It smells sweeter. And I like, if you don't like sweet, that's totally up to you. But when you're doing a coconut, now when this chicken is all white, that's when I'll start on both sides. That's when I'll start putting everything in. But I love coconut rice and I love, I just like anything coconut. I love coconut. That's, so get the chicken cooking a little bit anyway because it's going to simmer. I'm going to put the cover on it and let it simmer right on low after I get everything in there. And then I'll start the rice and Let this cook a little bit. Once it's all white, I don't put nothing in it. Just the butter and that. So that's, that's. And then when it's 
simmers to get all the flavors well. But it's pretty simple. I put about a tablespoon of the peanut butter and then I'll see how creamy it is. And if, if it's not, if it's not creamy enough because where I'm going to simmer it and I don't want it to get too thick, sometimes I add a little bit of canned milk. But we'll see because I got quite a bit of chicken so I usually I only do one, one breast of chicken but I did two today so let's, there's two here. So it's almost ready for the stuff. Just want every, both sides white. That's all I want. It'll be simmering for a while. So, we're getting there. It's fast, simple, easy. It's whatever you prefer. I just cook to my taste what I like. But, it's however you guys want your food, right? The ginger, I don't know, I just, I'm not a ginger lover unless it's ginger cookies or cinnamon and whatever, or ginger cake, I like a ginger cake, but not, not the ginger root, the ginger spice, and the allspice. I do have pumpkin spice, which is like, probably got ginger in it, but anyways, I, I'm, I'm fine with just the, uh, which is the curry. Yeah. I'm going to do the peanut butter. So this is almost ready. This is almost. Chicken. So now what I'm going to do is put the onion and the garlic. I just slice, slice the onions, right? just don't have them in cubes or anything. I just break it apart with my hand after I got them in slices. This is when I would put in, a, if I had carrot and all that, and green pepper. And I do have carrots. I could have, but anyway, I'm just doing a simple one today. So I've got the onion. Put a little bit of salt, so the water, a little bit, just because it's a onion. Now, now this is the time. Now it's totally up to you how much you wanna wanna put. I usually put quite a bit of quite a bit quite a bit of curry. I used almost half of that. I just love curry. Anyways, so I've got the curry in there. The cinnamon. I don't know why I don't have ginger. So, so I've got the curry and the chicken. Move it all around. And the garlic. Oh, that smells so good. Look. I'm going to need, I want a little bit more butter because I like it nice and margarine or whatever. <clears throat> so, too bad they weren't smell a vision. Anyways, that smells good. So I've got the curry, and the chicken right covered with curry, right covered. So, now, this is when I add the coconut milk and and about a tablespoon you need to do a tablespoon of peanut butter and that's big and add a little bit of water because it looks like Add a little bit of water, half a cup of this, 
and just a little bit of canned milk. Then I'm going to let that simmer for 15 minutes. Let this simmer really, really good and I'll put uh, the rice on. Make sure that peanut butter, stirring that peanut butter all the way around. So let that cook and now I'm going to put that rice on. So I got, put this on high, this one, and I put a cup, a cup of rice, and I know <clears throat> this is the coconut milk and a coconut milk, a little bit of salt, and then a little bit more water to it because it was it was just a little over the rice, was a little bit over a cup. So I stir that, and then once it boils, you turn it down and cook it for 15 minutes. Take it off the stove and <clears throat> let it heat up. This here is bubbling, so let this bubble a little bit more before I turn it down because I do want it to thicken up a little bit. Oh yeah, I didn't put my, no, I didn't put my sugar. So I'll let things sweep. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of sugar and Watch my rice. So I don't need anything more in here. I got everything that I want. I got my sugar. So I let that cook good. Let that cook really good. And then when I put it on a plate, I'll let the chicken, let everything cook good before I turn it down. When it's bubbling hot. And the rice, once it starts, once it starts boiling, that's when I turn it down to medium and then I just let it cook for 15 minutes. It says fit just all you gotta do is just follow the recipe on the rice. And then that one there is a 15 minute rice. So yeah, I'll take a picture of it on the plate after. This is starting to bubble now, see? This is starting to bubble. So, I can't. The bubble, bubble. See, carrots and all that, green pepper. You can put all that in it, right? Broccoli. Whatever you want, but I'm just doing it simple today. I'm not. So I usually simmer, not like simmer like a three, usually about a five, like halfway, and just like that. And then that'll be cooked by the time the rice, by the time the rice is cooked, this will be cooked. So it's just like a low heat. It's not like the spaghetti sauce where you put it on two and a half, three, and let it simmer. This just got to... Everything has to be blended in, see, all the, all the flavors. So that's, so that'll be done here soon. 15 minutes, everything be done, and then I'll be going over, and I'm just going to have, I got no paw, so I have to have it with water. I got no Pepsi, so... Just waiting for that to boil to turn down. I got the rice on high. And then you turn it down to medium. I'm supposed to put a cover on it, but I never do. I don't know. It all looks out the same to me. Put the butter away. I'm gonna have some ice water. Some ice. Mm. Some ice water with that. Okay, 
eight, so this is still down to five and it's bubbling. That's starting to bubble. That's starting to bubble. I'll put it down to medium as soon as it's there. Okay, let that cook good. I got my water. My ice water. And what else? I was going to do something. Oh, yes. I'm going to transfer to this spoon. The white one. This is my one that I dish. So I'm going to see what it looks like. So it's nice, simple, easy, fast. You want to put garlic powder instead of the garlic. You can. You can put peanuts in it. I put peanut butter. You can put peanuts. If you're allergic to peanuts and you keep it out, but just add a little bit more butter to it. But I like I like peanut butter. The peanut butter and let the chicken cook good. See how it's starting to get thick on the sides now? See, perfect. Got to be thick, a little bit thicker anyway. So, perfect. Miss the green pepper though. I'm used to having green pepper. But, I like that curry. That curry was good. Okay, so. This is boiling, so I'm going to stir it, and once in a while, and I'm going to put this down to about six, the rice, count 15 minutes, it's 10 after, a quarter after right now, so on the 30, I'll take it off the burner, put it over there, let it set a little bit, keep the chicken on number five. Just let it cook, because we already cooked it a little bit when before I put all the stuff in, so it'll be cooked. Oh, I'm terrible with salt, because I just throw it on there, eh? But anyway, so that's about it. This is going to be, when that's ready, this is going to be ready. I'm not going to bother putting a cover on it. I'm just going to let everything cook. Starting to see the sides. How it's starting to get thick. So, it'll be thick. That's a lot. That's enough for two people. If you're just doing one person, just use one breast like I usually do. So the rice, the rice is good. So I'll be shutting this down. Then on my thumbnail, I'll take a picture of it on my plate. And then I'll take a thumbnail over there at the, at the table. We are recording, yes. Make sure it was on. So the chicken is going to be so. In 15 minutes, 15 minutes, everything will be done. I have to keep on stirring the rice, so we don't want that to stick, okay? Once the water is out of the rice, like the coconut and the water, it's not running anymore, you pretty much know. You can tell when it's cooked, the rice, because it won't be won't be no water, you know? But I usually just time the 15 minutes. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's my curry, coconut curry chicken and coconut rice. That's how I make it. I don't get all fancy or nothing, just stuff. Not a chef. Definitely not a chef. I just cook for my taste and the kids eat it, they like it, so it can't be too bad. 
And believe me, if they didn't like it, they'd let me know. They didn't like something. They would let me know. But that curry's pretty good. I like that curry. Nice and sweet. Yeah. So, I'm going to shut it off now. The rice is going to cook. That's going to cook. I put the rice on my plate, then I just put some of that on it, and that's about it. So I'm going to shut the film off, and I'll show you a picture of the plate once everything is all cooked, and, uh, and then we'll go over to the table. So the rice still got a little bit of, still got water in there, you know? It's still... But you just gotta keep on stirring it because you don't want it to burn. And I got it on number six, so that won't burn. This year, this won't burn. This is just gonna get thick. This is on number five, so this is perfect heat for it. Perfect. The rice I might turn down to five, though. Yeah. Definitely. The water will be out of it soon. It says 15 minute rice. That's after it starts boiling, you know, then you count your 15 minutes. So anyway, I'll shut this off. This is how I make my chicken curry, coconut chicken curry. Nothing too, nothing too fancy. Nice and sweet. The pineapple, uh, the coconut's gonna make it nice and sweet anyway when I pour, pour it on. So I'll see you in a bit. Let this cook a little and there. Okay, so I'll take a picture of it and when it's done and put it as a thumbnail. See you in a bit.